is there a self-promotion channel in local server i posted that there for players who are aware of the tournament i also posted in the plebs um chat the plebs chat are you like a patreon or something no no we don't this is not this is nothing is nothing uh, official oh, this is actually hey, quite Bucci. unofficial there's no money in, we're not getting any money out of this no. Yeah, and I don't care about the money. If there was money, I would tell you to donate it to the Fox <laughs> the first, uh, charity. Yeah, that's nice. Um, of, of giving away soccer to Marines. <laughs> I just, I just want everyone to be ready. Boofty, Boofty, are you watching the stream right now? No. All right. If you have anything, to tell me. DM me on Discord. Okay. Oh, so I'm last game, right? Uh, yeah, you're in the last game. Okay. Um. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Okay, sure. I'm going to go in the chat channel with Haha, and we're going to co-cast for a while. And then if anyone wants to co-cast with me, just ask for the next game. And hopefully we'll have a fun time. Okay, I am so going to back no. as well. So this is perfect. I'm going to ask them to join. I can't co-casting next game. So, yeah, all right. All right. The... Yeah, we're good. Anyway, let's let's begin, all right? All right. I have not, but I can add it. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I accidentally invited Zer. Someone needs to update Zer. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. I need to leave the party. the lobby he's completely muted he, ah, you can hear okay, that makes sense. yeah you'll have to you'll have to type to him in the lobby chat <laughs> we've <laughs> made a mistake what's the problem <laughs> may you leave okay there you go <laughs> <laughs> i don't need to so basically i didn't start off with the mod um i need to start off with the mod uh was it yeah i need to invite hahar again uh, why does it always go to Archon? Uh, melee. I'm the one casting, of course. And I'm gonna add... Oh, okay, nice. Um, if you guys wanna join in the uh, these parties, just simply have like a first view, uh, first person view of the match. So you can observe by yourself. You can. Otherwise, um, I obviously invite you to watch the stream instead. And talk amongst yourself there, you know? Anyway. We're gonna begin. Uh, haha, join me. All right, cool. I just need to. I feel so sorry. Zer just told me, "Did you just kick me?" And I'm like, "Oh, I didn't mean to annoy you." <laughs> oh, hold on. I need to just tell him it was uh, the party was made without mod. All right. It was, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mag? Mag, you're here? Oh, okay, cool. Hello? He came back. Yeah, he's muted his mic. He has, um, he's not muted his mic. Mag, this is where the casters will be, and at minimum, I just want to, if that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I just asked you for the Twitch link in my D. Oh, okay. Uh, haha, do you have the Twitch link? I'll leave the call now. I'm pretty sure I gave it to you. I'll give it to you again. Okay, cool. And uh, let's begin. All right, we're starting. Yeah, type in the chat. So, are we are we streaming? Okay, cool. Okay. So, welcome everyone to the Fox Waffle Games. This is our second tournament of the week yeah with, without waffles is, ironically it is actually our second tournament without waffles <laughs> yeah we do 
and um, it's going to be Captain Awu versus Jolo, and it's going to be a ZVZ. ZVZs are so proactive games, such proactive games. I always like keep on getting Ling rushed or Ling flooded or however you say it. It's a stupid all ins, man. Like, I I ask so many like I hear so many people just talk about um, how to improve in uh, Z Zerg versus Zerg, and <laughs> Captain Undead. If you didn't know how to play Zerg, why did you ask to play Zerg? <laughs> Uh, you do the things that, yeah, I am, Zerg do, like the queen. the hatches and <laughs> so on <laughs> okay so let's introduce the players okay so on the bottom right aha if you'd be so nice to introduce nice man I feel like freaking out when he's in a tournament because he's the only gold player that's in the same level as me Woo! Okay, and in the bottom left is Captain Undead. Well, actually, Captain Awu. He changes his name quite often. Is he? I didn't know that. Uh, I. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, Captain Awu, so many times do I see him just playing around in the StarCraft 2 community. Like, I've seen him in Glazer's stream, I've seen him in our tournaments, and I've seen him in uh, the Plebs tournaments. I don't, I haven't seen much of Plebs, and it's it's weird when, like, I set up a tournament, and they're like, well done, Fox McBrush. You're now part of the Plebs. Like, oh my, like, oh my god, dude, calm down. I just, <laughs> they're my tournaments, they're called the Fox Waffle Games, calm down. <laughs> like, I just sometimes, I just feel like going up to Gabe, the, guy, the founder of Plebs, and just saying, now we Excuse me? me? You're a you're like you're just a plat player, right? You posted six games in six months. Yeah. I posted six in three weeks. It's it's ZBZ and so far okay I guess. Well it's weird because everyone both players have lings and they're not doing anything with them because they're too afraid to actually do anything with them. The problem with the uh, attacking with lings and usually you attack with all of them is that now you have no lings at base and now how are you going to defend lings in your base yeah you know, there's problems in everyday occurrence that happens in a z zerg versus zerg it's such a volatile matchup right now <laughs> Cap uh, captain awu hasn't seen anything but he has sent an overlord scout oh my god this player is so overpowered true diamond player uh both of them going for metabolic boosts but Captain Awu gets it first. <laughs> no, they didn't. Oh, Jolo. Jolo's improved his gameplay. He knows how to wall. All right. The only thing going for Captain Awu, though, is the third expo, of, of course. And obviously, and a bit the double slower Roach Warren. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like um, the Zerg versus Zerg, you just want everything set up within the f first four minutes, and then you, maybe you can rest easy. I was hoping to see some Ling Bane Hydra. Oh, no, not Ling Bane Hydra, just Ling Bane in general, because it's so disgusting at times. Both players have speed, but right now Jolo has the supply advantage. And Captain Awu is not even spending his money at all. I will say one thing though <laughs> Captain Anad making like... 10 drones. <laughs> so and now thing... almost even count, drone count will. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Oh, my God. Dude, this guy is so organized. Look at that. Look at this dude deselecting some of the workers while they're in the eggs. Look at this dude. The third hatch is up. Okay, this is kind of uh, it's kind of scary for Jolo, seeing that he's doing nothing with his time. Well, he's doing something with his time, and that's simply sa fully saturating, oversaturating his natural expansion. His main, of course, still hasn't... <laughs> I still doesn't have a mining gas, but he decided to fully uh, fully mine the gases in his uh, natural expansion. 
Jolo hopefully going for the third, but I don't think he will do. He, he should. But alas, so he is sim bad. he's just a simple gold player, you know? Yeah. Okay, he's, he's got his third up now. He's got so much minerals, 600. Dude, expand three times. And then expand a third time over that. Well, Captain Yawu has been running almost 1,000. Yeah. 30 seconds. Right now, yeah, right now, Jolo's just sent his lings across, doing absolutely nothing with them. <laughs> but it, the fact that he's trying... Lings. He's building lings. He's got more lings in the way. The lings go in and they're trying to pull around. Oh, they're not. They're actually just trying to scout around for the third base. They see nothing and all the lings actually die. <laughs> Get them out of there, Jolo! He doesn't. Unfortunately, and he loses all those links. That was almost useless link pressure. He tries, he has good scouting with the overlords in case for hidden bases, but in a no. game like this, I doubt that's going to be the case. Oh, those roaches are starting to move out. At minimum, they're going to guard that fourth expansion. And that overlord is beginning to see Jolo's roach switch to. I wonder what that queen was doing. Probably should have been overlord that probably died. Um, Captain Undead, though, is ahead of supply. But both these players are oddly even, relatively even. I didn't think Captain Awu needed to be nerfed, but supposedly he did. Like, it, before the stream, right, Captain Awu kept on, like, persistently telling me, like, dude, how should I nerf myself? I, can, I have so many ideas. I have a list on me right now, and I'm just going to tell you them all. And I'm like, dude, calm down. It's, <laughs> it's just a single knockout tournament. That time, there's more diamond players in the game, you know? And, I've, and we've had plat players defeat diamond players before, you know? It's not like it's a... It's just a benchmark at most. Anyway, it's kind of cool how Captain Awu is trying to be uh, a good sportsman. And nice how Jolo is, like, um, yeah, playing just Both well. of them are now running too many minerals. I think... Oh, Jolo I totally agree. A thousand? his money into something. Yeah, yeah. Like nine overlords is great, but maybe two overlords <laughs> and some units would be better. Oh my god, oh. almost twice the army. Dude, he has five hatcheries. I mean, not hatcheries, he has five extractors. What is he going to be doing with that much gas? <laughs> is he going muta? Uh, no, I don't think so. Right now, there's a roach. Uh, no, hold on, wait. Right now, there's 13 more roaches on the way, a hatchery, and, uh, and a um, hydrogen. So we're going to see some, like, Shooty shooty snaky boys. Oh my god, 22 roaches from Jolo. I know it was Jolo with the hydrogen. Okay, Hydra, Hydra Roach. Ooh. Feels like a good army composition, man. You got the army boy you got the you got the steely boys up front, the roaches. And then you got the hydralisks, the light but like archer like snaky boys at the back. The one of the best army compositions I've ever played, I'm gonna be honest. Of course, um, Plus one ranged attack from Captain Undead will be useful, especially with a Roach Ravager army. God, I hate the Ravagers in this game sometimes. Because, like, they're really strong against you. But when you play them, they can be really weak. Like, Lings can just chew through them like a hot knife through butter. And additionally, like, it's when, when they throw their uh, artillery fire, their biles, it's like... It's such a stagnant shot, and it stays where it is, and it tells your opponent and yourself where it's going to land. The opponent just needs to move out the way. It's just, it's just weird to me. Anyway, that's just my... I have my own problems with Roach Ravager. I'm just assaulted. There's more roaches. For yeah, definitely. Ever. I'm going to be honest. I think both players just need more shit, and I just love to see more shit just accumulate. Yeah. It's like a tycoon game, man. Exactly. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Indeed, Arena. Uh, I I played one unranked game, just for fun as a Zerg. First yeah. couple minutes, I was like, uh, I don't know anything because I haven't played Starcraft for like a week again. And then suddenly, I was maxed out at eight minutes. I go, okay, hold on. I know, right? Okay, let, let's go over the map. It's Protoss. He's thirdly. Just let's kill him. <laughs> it's like Zerg is like the best macro race. You macro up 200 supply yeah. within half a minute. And it's just, it's now brilliant. all you have to do is just 
<laughs> just like, go on everyone's vision for a second and just look at the standoff. And no one is aware of that. If you just switch between Jolo's vision and Captain Owu, no one has the idea that both players are just on the edge. Okay, now Captain Owu is going for the attack. They're on seven battle lines and the files almost hit those roaches. Okay, the roaches are going for the full surround, but they don't really get a better surround. Jolo gets a better concave and the hydras are coming from the back. Oh, those vials are going to hit those hydras oh. and they just rip through them. Okay. So right now, Captain Nauru just left some Roach, uh, Roach Ravager behind, and that wasn't ideal. He wanted to fight with his entire army, but he leaves it behind. And Jolo has the momentum right now. However, <laughs> uh, including including eight additional Roaches. But I say that, uh, there's 27 Roaches coming in for Captain Undead. This is perfect. With a full concave setup, these Roaches are going to do absolute devastating damage on Jolo's Roaches. He should retreat right now, seeing that the Ravagers are going to throw in more Biles. The queen comes in for backup. Yeah, got you, boys. And then the and Jolo's forced to retreat right out of there. Hopefully, his reinforcements will save him. And maybe Captain Awu, maybe able to do something with this uh, aggression. The roaches come back for another concave, and then the roaches are actually taking out. <laughs> I like how you can't tell who which whose roaches are who. They're both playing ZBZ. That's a problem with mirror matches. Right now, the uh, Captain Awu's concave is doing far more work than Jolo's, and it's actually chewing through every single roach ravager out there. More hydralisks has come out, but there's not enough. 38 Zerglings from uh, Jolo and the Overseers needlessly there as if high ground vision is required and Jolo is going to lose this force immediately. The Zerglings come in as if they can try and do anything but I don't think they can do anything seeing that they don't get the full surround and the Roaches just, they just spit their shit at them. God damn, it's so disgusting sometimes, huh? Like I like Zerg, but they are worse. It was, it was <laughs> incredibly even, even matchup. They had even yeah. workers, even army supply, yeah. even upgrade of Captain who yeah. just knows how to macro a lot better. Yeah, and GG make... well played by Joel. Just making ah. 27 roaches in the middle of fight is what you have to do in your game. Just make the units. Yeah, indeed. Like, honestly, I just okay. Zerg. Sometimes I say Zerg is OP, but that's because I like liberally using the word OP across everything. Like Void Ray's OP, Hydra OP. Eventually, I start saying Ling is OP. But like, oh my God, Zerg's macro cycle is so therapeutic at times as well. Like you, you control click the eggs and then you assign them to your army hockey immediately. Oh my God, it feels good. Anyway, let's interview the players. Jolo, um, if Jolo's watching the stream, I'm gonna have to talk to him at Jolo. Uh, Jolo. Uh, interview time and Captain Abu, of course. I'm gonna be honest, I was really surprised that was it. Um, that was surprisingly an even matchup, if you've noticed. Hey, all right, cool. Um, guys, I have uh, obviously two, maybe three questions for you because these interviews are going to be short, right? Ultimately, we want these tournaments to be an hour and a half long. But first, I want to start off with, what was your plan, both of you? For, well, first, let's start off with, like, Jolo, because, you know, he wasn't the victor. Jolo, what was your strategy for the game? Road Stravager. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> like, both of you guys are Road Stravager, and I thought that was... Road Stravager's good, but Road Stravager is so annoying to play basic. at the same time. It's it's basic for sure, but like it's it's so annoying because your opponents literally move out the bile. They move out the way when you throw down your artillery. It's annoying. Anyway, that was just a pet peeve of mine. Uh, Captain Owu, what about you? What was your strategy? Uh, basically the same thing. I, I call uh, I call it after winter. It's called <laughs> the bull pill. Where all you do is put the boat maxed out on roaches and smack them with a pillow of bricks. Yeah, dude. Roaches are so, they're such good armored units, and yet mm. they sometimes feel like they don't do anything, you know? Okay. Yeah, but I mean, I I absolutely... <laughs> See, playing a Zerg is interesting, because what, what, what I think is the Zerg can max out so quick on four base. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's stupid. I <laughs> think the injects make it even faster. <laughs> you know, right? I have like, what, 40-something uh, floating larva at the end of the game? Yeah, it's I know. Ridiculous. Oh, it definitely is. Anyway, the second question of the game, of course, is how did you guys find out? I find playing that game. Like, I know Jolo had a had a more interesting army comp. I'm gonna be honest. 
I prefer seeing Roach Hydra versus Roach Ravager because Roach Hydra requires more micro. You've got to move out those biles, and that's you know, it's it's it's, it's uh, no. You walked into a lot of them, by the way, Cholo. I gotta got admit. You just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's not that, like like my. The focus of this game, like I knew, was okay. I'm first diamond, I'll probably lose. So yeah. let's just focus on micro. And I, I'm, I'm looking at, at the performance uh, um, tab, and I had 130 APM, which is like the, the highest yet. <laughs> so uh, that's good. And when I look at the build or it's like uh, almost the same. Yeah. But, um, I make my queens way earlier. Yeah, I, I, uh, I kind of feel that. Which is the preferred option, but it doesn't matter that much, I think, in, in this game. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter that much, but it's definitely a hassle at times. Uh, Captain Owu, how did you find that game, seeing that you won it? Uh, it was okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what a humble victor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, I you mean, guys go um, back in the chat if you can. Really my layer was really late, I've got to say that. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. Anything else? Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, I could understand. Um, if you guys would go, to go back into the chat, we're going to set up the next game. The next game is going to be... Well, first I'm going to update the, uh, the ladder. No, not the ladder, the tournament. And I'm going to put mm -hmm. in the fact that... Uh, Captain Wu won this game. Yeah, anyway, well played. Uh, yeah, very well played, uh, Johan. Thanks. Mm. Um, I didn't even start the tournament. How silly of me. Uh, Captain Wu won by one game. Cool. The next game will be. Well, it will be. It could be against Marcus. Is Marcus online right now? Okay, Marcus and yeah, he's even in the thingy. Um, I feel like we're missing someone though. Marcus versus Magnath. Is Magnath online? Where did you go? You go. If not, we're just gonna have Zer versus Boofty. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Um, ha, do you want to be Lord Cranial or should we have Marcus versus Magnath? Okay, so, um, ready? I'm just gonna tell him that. Ready. I feel like putting on an epic voice when I do the introdu player introductions. Spawning in the bottom right corner. It's. Magnath. Yes, join the chat. Uh, jo yeah. So I'm just talking to Magnath. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna... If it's okay, I'm gonna kick these players out. Uh, I'm just gonna just pop over to the voice chat if they want to observe the games by themselves. Um, where is, yeah, Captain Awu. Captain Awu, are you there? Okay, cool. Uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to have, uh, if you want, we're going to have the players come to the party, but I don't want too many observers. So if you could leave the party, that would be great. Of course, you can observe the games simply by themselves as they are. Uh, plebs. Yes, there you go. Um, and we're gonna start our next game. Where well, first, two things, right? First thing, 
What was the match versus? Okay, Magna, uh, Marcus, Marcus, are you there? Yep. Okay, cool. Get ready for your uh, for your first match. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna put you in. Um, it's going to be. Well, what map do you want? To... Well, what map do you want? I don't care. Something from ladder. Okay, something from ladder. What about you, Ma Magna? You here? Uh... Okay, he's not here. Hold on. Give me time to join the voice chat. Who's going to be the uh, next person to co-cast? Oh, yeah, you, of course. Um, okay, gotcha. We're going to have Haha, though, with us, because he has the mic. But he's going to mute his mic. No, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Haha, is that okay? okay. Just before I get uh, again in before my ears melt, Yosemite spam is pronounced. Sorry? Yeah. Uh, uh, forget, forget, forget. Fuck. Uh, we, we, oh, we just wanted... uh, how do you say your name? Y Yosemite Spam. Yosemite Spam. So, oh, your, your your Discord name is Magnath. I'm not reading your yeah. thingy name. My, yeah. Sorry. It's, um, it's just a nickname I have on EU. My main account is on NA. Oh, okay. All right. Is it okay if we do call you Magna Magnath because it's it's yeah, easy yeah, to I pronounce? Yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh... I mean, you might mix up or, or read my name as what's written in front of you, so most people uh, pronounce it Yosemite, which I, that literally makes my ears melt. It's Yosemite. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a pun based on the guy from Looney Tunes, you know, the guy with the red beard. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I know who you're referring to. Anyway, we're going to start the first match with you versus Marcus. Any any map preference right now? Uh, vetoes or preference? Preferences. Uh, I guess. Acropolis. Acropolis. Okay. Um, Marcus, what game would you want? What what map would you want to play on? I don't care. It should be. Definitely, if you're gonna ask us, uh, it should be vetoes, and then the, the five or remaining maps, you would. Need it. Yeah. All right. Uh, what and maps do you veto? Winter's Gate. Okay, you veto Winter's Gate, and you veto what other map? Three maps to have to have to be vetoed. Tell you what, I'm just gonna guess. Um, uh, dip do doggy did a poo. Who stepped in? It was you. Okay, Disco Bloodbath. Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> I like that name, man. It's such a good name. Wait, hold on, no, don't, 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 cancel. I forgot to uh, add the one. Uh, WCF yeah. game hard. Yeah, yeah. That's such a cool mod. Anyway. Oh, can you go ahead and invite me to the party? Or to uh, the lobby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Oh, is that Cranial? Uh, yeah. Is that the blonde guy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lord Cranial. My lord. That's actually, um. It might be Cranial. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Cranial Blade. Um, McNath, you're gonna go in. Front, haha. Uh -huh. We're gonna go to the Discord chat with Lord Cranial, but unfortunately, you're gonna be obviously. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave the call. Uh, you don't need to leave the call, dude. Um, okay. You can complain. Just, just nothing. <laughs> uh, Marcus, actually, yeah. good point. The players should leave the call <laughs> and then join back for the interview and then chat. Yeah, or mute themselves or whatever. Well, everyone else, because they're the one listening. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna make myself the referee, and we're me... I just disconnect. Did you just disconnect? Okay, we'll wait uh, for you to come back. From voice. Um, See you later. Anyway. Wait, what? No. Nothing. I thought you said, "Hey, boys." See you later. No. Hey, whoa, whoa! Are you just leaving when we just? <laughs> said, oh, yeah. Like what the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. We'll wait for him. Um. I just want to quickly just go over things again, just so I'm not confused. Uh, Lord Cranial will go with the chat with me, including you, haha. Yeah. And you're just going to meet your mic. Um, what, what was the problem with Marcus? Did you just simply connect and you have no idea? What? Uh, Mark Who 
Who, Marcus? Okay, guys, you ready? Magnath, uh, wrong party, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm diamond uh, two, I, I don't know. I mean, like the benchmark is kind of close. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, go, go, go whenever you want. Okay. Cool. cool. All right. Magnath. I've never, I've never played, uh, I've never seen Magnath in our tournaments. I, I do remember one time though, I was laddering for so long and I was playing with like, uh, my friend, um, and I was just complaining about how I'm so lonely in the ladder. Like I talk to someone <laughs> and then they don't, they, they, they don't even like type in a woo blushes or something like that. You know, the, the, the W, the, the O. W O symbol, you know, like just, just, just talk to me. me <laughs> Say something. <laughs> Say something. Anything. I need communication. At least GG when you lose. <laughs> it's just sad, man. I, it was a sad life at the time. No, at this and point, Ma I, just, I don't expect yeah. it. <laughs> and then, like, was it Magnath came into the voice channel and then told me, "Yo, hi, what's up?" And then I just shared my story of just like I always get ignored in ladder. And then he's like, "Hey." There's this uh, uh there's this a bunch of people who like tutor you and like that doesn't fix my problem, but thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. And then he left. Oh, such a good player. Who know who who knew he was a Protoss player as well? Like I thought he was Zerg. Yeah, like I'm gonna be honest, I feel like sometimes I look at a person and I can just guess their race, you know? But like yeah. <laughs> I actually have to physically look at them. Like if I would look at you go on? If they're screaming and yelling about balance, <laughs> you know for a fact it's a Terran. Indeed. Like, I would look at the Muslim and I would just say, that guy has to be a Terran player. Like, he wouldn't be anything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look at Cyril and it's just like, he just kind of oozes creep. And you're just like, oh yeah, this is a Zerg player. <laughs> it's more like, you look at Zeril, right? And then he talks as if he's clicking his fingers, right? Because that's how his like voice is. And then he's like, yeah. okay, he sounds like a queen. So like, I would, I would definitely <laughs> call him a Zerg player. Anyway, let's do the player introductions, right? Spawning in the bottom right is our gentle player, Marcus. He's our Zerg. And Lord Cranial? All right, spawning in the top left, we have our resident Protoss. It is going to be Magneth. Oh, God, that name actually sounds like a gun. Man. It sounds, yeah, it sounds pretty fierce. Yeah, I know. It sounds like the Spaz 12, you know? Yeah. <laughs> numbers, just to make it like more, I don't know, unique. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, come to think of it, that doesn't work on the internet. <laughs> it just makes you sound more stupid. No, it's just like... Oh, I guess the original name just was taken. Yeah, that's so. Like, it's, it's, it, <laughs> so I just throw some Spaz, numbers in front of it. Yeah, maybe the Spaz Twelve was this, the twelfth edition of the of, of the shotgun. Oh, no. Well, actually, the reason it's called a Spaz Twelve is because it's a twelve gauge shotgun. Damn, man, that actually sounds that sounds cool, man. Lags like uh, messing up my build. Ah, oh, uh -oh. oh, the poor diamond players struggling with lag and latency. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him. Ah, oh. hey, let's put some. Let's have an F in the chat, yeah. F. <laughs> uh, right now, we see in the production is a one warp gate. We've been talking over this entire time, and warp is being researched. I say that as if it never happens, but it always happens. <laughs> you never know in the lower leagues, yeah. Or you if never... you're playing against Florencio, because now he's starting to. Toss warp or warp gate into his uh, builds. Oh, the Zerg, Zergly just kind of run by this adept. He, they could easily wow. pick it up. Dude, this is actually right. been talking over a Ling Rush here. God damn, I didn't bit, realize yeah. was going for cheese. Okay, so the Lings go in and they're trying to completely split around those probes. The probes are trying to run around. They have no idea what they're doing. And I feel like <laughs> Marcus it's actually like the, might get a GG. It's like the dog who caught a car. They get like they actually get to the car and it's just like now what do I do? Indeed. And those speedlings <clears throat> fully surround those stalkers and they can't do anything. Completely taken out in a matter of seconds. Those probes trying to show something like as if they're fist. <laughs> like <clears throat> Defend the Nexus points. We're all that's left. <laughs> oh, if he gets this pylon, it's basically GG. Ah, oh, such a shame. Oh God. boy. A diamond player. Having to face such disgusting cheese. The, the speedlings are actually taking out the cybernetics core, and I don't know what these probes are actually going to do. What's coming up for him right now is going to come up 
uh, another warp warp gate a full surround but those things are going to take out those probes instantaneously especially if they get the full surround on them <clears throat> uh mortal comes out but i don't know if that's going to be nearly enough unless he keeps it near that shield battery yeah oh he actually scares it off damn all right marcus being unusually frightened and well the, right now the advantage that marcus has is that he has an ego that has not been touched but magnath is just simply not right now an immortal's trying to stop more ling aggression but i ling's literally counter like immortals what are you gonna do about that those yeah. probes though <laughs> the boys probes are putting in work Indeed, indeed, or, you know, they, they get the, the lings, they'll get the full around on the one of the probes ah. being attacked by the lings. And I don't think the lings are going to survive. No, I mean the probes. And the lings completely take out everything. Okay, so, Magnath, what are you going to do, buddy? I feel sorry for you. We there's not, really, this low, there's not really much he can do. Indeed, <laughs> she's won the day for the day. And the shield battery trying to heal these probes as if it will do anything, but the lings go in and they're just freaking out as if they're, win they're going to win the game immediately. Oh my god, those lings. They completely cleaned up McNath. It's as if it's as if he was like, he was playing, right? And like his mom says, Honey, dinner's ready. He turns around. Right? <laughs> he's looking, he's like, I'll be there in a minute. I'm playing a tournament. And then he turns <laughs> back around and he just sees his victory scheme. <laughs> I was too focused on forgetting my second pylon. I Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I think that was a 12 pull by Gentle Marcus, and I that feel so sorry, man. Pull, I, that was, I didn't no, he, um, you that was a normal game. opener. I just yeah, it was, an, it, it was a normal opener. He just didn't really drone behind it and just went for straight wings. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um... I made the mistake of not yeah. noticing that stuff. Yeah, anyway... Forgetting my second pilot. Uh, to keep these interviews short, because I'm trying to finish this in an hour and 30 minutes, because it's safer and cleaner. I'm going to ask you two questions, simply of what was your what was your strategy, McNath, seeing that you didn't actually get to play it out? Uh, Marjorie? No, it's uh, not Marjorie since I scouted. It's an Immortal Charizard, darling. Immortals transition to Archon? Uh, immortal Charizard, darling. Oh, dude! That would have been so fun to cast! <laughs> oh, well... Well, <laughs> gentle Marcus, how did you find the game? <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit shaky right now because just be <laughs> just before I start playing this game, I beat another platinum player with almost same tactic, but I have to put some roaches into it because his defense were was a lot better. I usually don't. No offense. This is, I just focus a lot, like way too much on looting the. And not yeah. feel, uh, putting the second pile on now. I had like a 10 second lag spike. I yeah. definitely agree the fact that Magnus didn't put down the second pile on, especially. Well, he didn't scout out the fact that it was um, it was Ling's a uh, quick Ling. I, I, I had my probe ready to scout for he, if he uses all the larva once the spawning pool is done or not, but he didn't. He waited till my probe. Probe what? To leave. He's oh, a little right. bit lucky, but that, I, thought, that was, I, thought, I, I, I thought he just got PTSD for a moment. It just reflected on the loss. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, that was absolutely unintentional. <laughs> I didn't notice that your probe <laughs> leave. <laughs> yeah, my, my probe stays there in front of the spawning pool and the uh, high tree to see if the larva is instantly used or not. Because if it is... If it is, and then he left. Okay. <laughs> GG, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, GG. Yeah, McNath, uh, we're gonna solve this interview because we're getting too much lag. And, uh, we're gonna move on to the next game, if that's okay. You can continue yeah, watching the stream, and we invite you to. It's not lag, it's my, my mic is turning off and on whenever it does that, it echoes. Oh. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But we still have a timetable to move on to. Yeah, uh, yeah, Lord Cranial, continue. obviously. Um, seeing that this was a game of cheese, you didn't really get a cast that much, and we'll have you cast the next Not game. really. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that wasn't exa exactly cheese. I just that saw was. an opportunity it, and use it. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, yeah. cheese. It, wait, wait. It wasn't a cheese. It was an all-in. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, just put it out of StarCraft jargon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to move on to the next game. And the next game was going to be... Um, it's going to be Boofty versus Zer. So if Boofty... Boofty, are you watching the stream? 
Hopefully he's watching the stream. Uh, let's message Booty. Uh, let's see. Booty. Yeah. Oop. Okay, cool. Yo. Join. You're up. Oh, yeah. You know, recently I've been watching so much of the Glazer Beams, and it's been just so fun. <coughs> Yeah, I haven't had really had much of a chance to watch him recently. I've been working a lot in the morning. Oh, that's a shame, man. Yeah. Been, I don't know why. He actually plays well, and then he says he plays shit, but I'm actually enjoying his game. I, I mean, that's that's kind of how we all feel, right? Like, <laughs> our, own mis our own mistakes are, like, amplified. So Maybe. it's like, just like, oh, I'm playing, like, shit. And then you're, like, looking at this Masters 1 just, like, dominating. It's just like, what do you mean shit? Like, I wish I could do that <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's exactly how I feel. And the guy's like, <laughs> the guy is like, what, rank 47, and then occasionally, like, you have an off day, which is completely fine. And it happens. And, like, he compl I feel like he just, he needs to play more, like, uh, more meme games. I remember one time he played just expand only, and it gets ma get away with as many expansions as possible. Oh, that was God. so fun. Like, he, he, he got to, like, what, 10 expansions? It covered half the map. And <laughs> the rest of the map had, like, creep that got denied halfway through. Um, that's kind of how most of my games have been going recently. It's just, like, I got a lot of minerals. I'm maxed out. I guess I'm just going to expand everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, Marcus won that game. I need to submit the score for the tournament. And it's going to be Boofty versus Zer. Zer. Where is Zer? Hold on. I need to find Zer. Zer. Hello there. Okay. So you're going to be VCing uh, Boofty. You ready? Let me go on the score screen and invite them. Oh, dude, my friend just messaged me. He was at Swansea today. And that's, and that's far away from where I live, seeing that I live in London. And um, Swansea being the capital of Wales, I uh, found it weird how he lives in London too. And he chose Swansea of all universities to go to. Like, dude, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, in fairness, like, it is nice to kind of just get away. I and, definitely you know, experience agree. new places. Yeah, I definitely agree, right? But like, Wales? Like, <laughs> <laughs> calm down. Like, you you live in London, right? Don't don't go to someone some place like Wales. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to anybody from Wales in the stream. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it, what's weird though is 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 like um, he's going uh, he, that was his insurance, and then he got like uh, he got his his firm didn't get go through, right? And that makes yeah. sense. But I feel like what happened in the situation is that he 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 applied for like Swansea in his like insurance assuming he would never get bad grades and then he proceeded yeah. to get bad grades and then he <laughs> got, like, Swansea now like what was the logic in that why'd you go Swansea anyway um, I'm just I mean uh, I, as a full blood and American you're all just kind of an island across the pond I didn't realize there's a difference between UK Great Britain and what, what the hell's Wales you know what's worse right is the fact that <laughs> we have Wales and we have Scotland, and then you guys got Texas, <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and, and like I know Minnesota. Anyway, yeah, right. so you guys are finally in the in the party, all right? Yes. All right, cool. What we want you to do is that we want you to uh, join our game. Do you have any maps you want to veto? No, not veto. Just preferred maps. Uh, <laughs> I like Alcopolis. But uh, Acropolis, okay. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't care. And uh, if you'd be so kind to type in chat what you want. Or you want Acropolis too. Okay, seeing that everybody wants Acropolis, I'm going to veto that map. <laughs> 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 okay. And um, we've just played Disco Bloodbath. Let's go for Ephemeron. <laughs> everybody wants Acropolis. Oh, well, I guess World of Sleepers it is. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that's just my logic I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, join the game, obviously. Have some fun. And let's see who wins. Good luck, have fun. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta get, I gotta, I need an invite. Are you not invited? No. Um, uh, there you go. 
and ha -ha. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, then. sorry, sorry. Uh, invite me. Zer, if you'd be so kind to also leave, because this is the casting channel, and therefore... Yeah, cool, cool. I feel like oh, that'll well. give him an unfair advantage, you know? I'm also not in the lobby. You're have also... you made the lobby? Yeah, I made a lobby. Uh... No, wait, hold on, I haven't. Yeah, WCS, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting that, I don't know why. <laughs> God, that's it. Anyway, six players in a party, man. Are we having a party or what? Six a pool party. <laughs> I just we need like what was it? We need skins on like our, our on our players on our units that like where they just like the units are bare naked and they only have underwear to signify they're having a party in the pool. <laughs> Everybody has bathing suits, including the siege tanks. <laughs> What's just that like guy in bikini doing on that turret? It <laughs> just, just has like a fucking thong speedo on. <laughs> it makes it move faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, McNath. This is my tactical armor. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remove McNath from the party, unfortunately, and I'm gonna have to start again because he already left. Hopefully, McNath is watching the stream. Buddy, are you watching the stream? Say something in the chat if you are. <laughs> Nothing said in the chat. This is sad. Can we get an F in the chat again? Right. F. You got a set of people. F. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I was. <laughs> I thought that was Gabriel for a second. I was like, oh, no, it's just us. Oh, well. Anyway, we're going to start this game off without a hitch. And we're gonna go. I'm gonna be the. Uh, stop it! You are not. You are not. Stop! Playing. Stop! 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 There you go. Stop! Oh, I'm so fast. <laughs> oh, and I put myself as a referee. Woo! <laughs> nice. Okay, these, uh, these both are. I don't one's think one's a diamond player. And one's a plat. I don't think this is. I don't too think Boofty bad. is Terran. No, Boofty is Terran. He's di he's plat in every race. Did he? Yeah. Does he want My... to play Terran? Yeah, he wants to play Terran. Okay. Um, anyway, what I find weird, and I always find weird about Zer, is that he still has that stupid silver banner around him, but he's a diamond player. Like, what the hell? What? Yeah, Why? he's a diamond player, and he has, like, he, I think it's a diamond three player, and, like, he's got a silver ban. Oh, wait, hold on, I just realized this is EU. Sorry. <laughs> but why isn't it changed for EU? Oh. <laughs> because it's a, it's a different ladder. Like, cause I'm unranked in EU, but I have a uh, Diamond Three in NA. Yeah. Okay. Um, Lord Cranial, how about you introduce the players, both of them? Oh, you got it. Spawning in the bottom right hand corner, we have the honorable Terran player, Boofty. And spawning in the top left, with the broken. Prodos pieces. It's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be Zer. Indeed, it is. <laughs> right now, um, Boofy just mentioned how this map gives him PTSD, and then like Zer's like, but why? Like the humble kitty is, and <laughs> like Boofy just he just responds with the words, no, 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 <laughs> and and that's it. That's all we got. But uh, this map is great for Terran. Yeah, it's great for Terran. I actually like. Call me weird, but I liked the new maps as soon as they came out. I think everyone has this problem, their stigma with new maps. They're like, oh, I have to get no, to used to new that's, maps. I, I feel like there are even people who complained about Abyssal Reef when it came out, and that turned out to be like one of the greatest maps ever. Indeed, man, it's my favorite map of all time. Like, I think I'm going to start having more of these like tournaments in Abyssal Reef. In fact, let's do that for the next game, man. Abyssal Reef, what a throwback. I know, right? It's such a that great was a map. That was in the map pool for like what five seasons? Five seasons. Wow, it was all. It's four or five. Damn, man. That's how many? How many years is that? I don't know that why I turned is... behind my chair. It's like... like there's people like ready to answer. <laughs> <laughs> there's no one behind me. <laughs> okay. Hey guys. It was five. <laughs> how many years is that? <laughs> five seasons. That'll be roughly five. It says my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, aha, you were saying something. It was five seasons, which is over a year. Over a year, damn. Such a good map, man. It felt good to play on as well. I don't think anyone vetoed it. 
No, it, it was favor like all the races liked it. There was nobody that disliked that map, except yeah. for like maybe one, one person making bullshit posts on yeah. the Blizzard forums. I mean, I know players like Cobble and um, Haha thought that it was just slightly below mediocre because they, I don't think they really care about the maps, but like they they were like uh, the third is a bit annoying to get, but otherwise it's fine. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you are Shut in the sea. <laughs> Under the sea. It's not I necessarily know, about the sea. map. It's about the fact that you see, like, you play all the time the same map. You want some variety. Yeah. 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 Right now, that adept is killing that marine, and <laughs> you just died in three shots. I bet SMVs have to be pulled out the second. The oh, he's going to see that this is three barracks. Oh, no, never mind. Well, no, he can yeah. still see two barracks for sure. Yeah. So he's going to know that barracks. something's up. Yeah, maybe a two one one, and right now the adapt's trying to chew down that supply depot, but that's not going to happen anytime too. It's not yeah, that's going to take about five seasons. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, how long is that? <laughs> <laughs> right now, Stim is coming up, and uh, additional four marines or three actually, and the SUVs are just chilling in there. Being yeah. Put down. Perhaps we're going to see some more mining from them, seeing that the marines are back. I actually like the classic Amorian skin. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, that's my yeah, favorite yeah. marine skin to use right now. Yeah, and and I enjoy using it. And I thought that I would be that like you know pro player that was the only one who uses classical skins. But no, like everyone else is using it too. No, everybody loves the classic skins. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to be like that one guy who uses classical skins. <laughs> <laughs> but like it wasn't gonna... that type. Of... No one like assumes you're that one guy. Everyone uses classical skins. Yeah. Oh, the adept just got blocked just there. Oh my god. <laughs> Well played by Boofty. Boofty. He's going to pick up two, not just one SCV. Yeah. Boofty is putting down a missile turret in his expansion. I'm guessing he's assuming that it could be Dark Templar or, or uh, possibly an Oracle, but I don't think he's actually scouted much. Yeah, he hasn't actually scouted much. If we check Boofty's vision, it only goes up to his four, which he will probably never take. <laughs> I actually shouldn't say that. <laughs> anyway, um, another thing is that... Um, Right now, uh, I just thought of a joke. <laughs> okay, it's not that funny, but can I just say? It? Yeah. It turns out that adept was rendered inept. Oh my god. <laughs> god How do I leave a Discord chat? <laughs> <laughs> can we get an F in a Discord chat? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this, uh, let's see, uh, Zer is actually going for charge lots but doesn't have many charge lots out on the field right now if he does get more charge lots it's going to be devastating to these marines mm. Zer just spot the marines now moving out from what was it boofty's expansion and it's kind of obvious boofty is not going to expand he's going to go for the two base all in one well, all in just the two base push he's buying more marines and marauders Oddly enough, he's pushing for the Marines and not bringing the Marauders with him. So <laughs> <laughs> it's odd, but it's boofty. So God, that was actually a loud clap. Yeah, I feel like in order to have uh, like a three racks push work well, it needs to hit a little bit sooner than this because yeah, these Protoss or he's going to get enough Protoss units out to just be able to hold this. The shield batteries are down. There's just not much he's going to be able to do about this. The stutter step comes out. It's going to yeah. take out these Zealots, but God, there's just man. too much Protoss here. I just wanted to see more of that stutter step, I'm gonna be honest, but that he didn't do anything about that. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> stutter steps twice. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> I just needed like two inches away from you. It's like, whoa, 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 but two steps. I just need to take out the zealots real quick. <laughs> Let me take out the zealots and then <laughs> uh, Right now, what was it? Adept, zealot, and immortal is the most weird comp, but it's the comp that Zer's gone for. I'm gonna be honest, sentries, they're so annoying. And I don't want to say they're overpowered, but if Haha -ha knows me, I just love saying everything's OP. And I just feel like <laughs> a, like sentries, when they like split up your army, you're like, oh, what the hell, man? Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's super annoying. Huh? Plus, what you're doing? yeah, usually whenever I play uh, against Protoss, I'm going to play Bio, and their Guardian Shields really like n or lower the DPS of Bio. Because oh, it's, it's always these, it's yeah. always like short bursts of DPS, and the minus yeah. two just absolutely nullifies that. Yeah, it's like you have to stim, and then you're just trading HP. It's just pretty ugh. much. Or like if you're good enough, you can target fire the sentries down, but I'm not quite there yet. 
Yeah, right now Zer's going for the third, the pro player, the diamond player, true player. He's got a pylon, a proxy pylon of, if anything, and a probe, right, uh, like, patrolling. Like, he's gonna keep, make sure that pylon doesn't get attacked. Oh, is there a dark shrine coming? Oh. We're gonna see a dark shrine? Dark shrine? Well, right now, Storm's coming up. And every single time Storm comes, Storm's come, Storm comes up and you play a bio force, you just feel like CJ going, Aw, shit, here we go again. You know? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> once, it's like, it's once the storms big. come out and he gets enough high Templar, like you, it's just really difficult to push. At that point, you need to be dropping. You need to be hitting at multiple angles and trying to stay, oh, or just kind of stay away from the Protoss army for a while, yeah. at least until the ghosts come out. Right now, Boopy's putting on pressure, the third step is actually doing work until it didn't, and now he's doing the third step, and the siege back hits his own marine! Oh my god, what a perfect play by Boopy! <laughs> Storm finally finished for Zer. This is good. Okay, Boopy, he needs to make progression in this attack. He needs to actually cut down those forces and make something of this two base push, because right now an observer's seeing the marine, just the bio sitting there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, the Storm oh, goes out and almost chews through all the marines! The siege tank doesn't do jack shit, and it's being oh. repositioned. He's being no, spammed. He <laughs> and then it's no. coming to take out the siege tank. The siege tank being attacked. The stuff goes down to oh. three. The marine, the marine. Oh no! Pulls her out. Oh god. Ah, that's terrible. Where were your medevacs? You needed uh, medevacs. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Uh, oh no, my gosh. <laughs> right now, it's, uh, it's got the huge advantage and vid. Three mining bases, Boofty's horribly behind. I mean, he's got an army. Ironically, this guy is a plat player. I wouldn't imagine like a plat player just do two base all in. I suspect oh, no. plat players plat players two base all in all the time. Serious? Because I thought that's something you get over when like you 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 pass silver league. Like, no, if anything, they get worse in plat and diamond because that's the only thing they know how to make work is just to finish games <laughs> off quickly. <laughs> It's like what the what the hell is a macro game? <laughs> Screw that! I just want I just want my MMR points. It's like, hey, hey, what's your favorite ma thing to macro with? Fun? What? what? <laughs> I don't I don't understand what fun. <laughs> what's a macro? <laughs> hey, what's it, macaro? Uh, I, I, what is that word? <laughs> Phoenix coming out for Zer. I don't know about that. I'm guessing he's going to try and pick up the siege tanks with it. I know, he um, did that last time and I blew up shouting in the screen like, Oh my <laughs> god, sir, you were a freaking beast! It was amazing, I loved every second of it. The high tempo is not turning into Archons, which I kind of want them to do, but then at the same time, kind of missed the storm. It's just Archons are just fat boys, they're so thick, and you just love them. I don't know what to tell you, it's just really good. Oh, I hate them, but that's just because I play Terran. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to. I'm actually trying to ter uh, race swap from Zerg to Terran because uh, I like Zerg. I. I you mean from I, from Terran to Zerg or Zerg to Terran? Zerg to Terran. Zerg is, is Zerg was fun to to begin with. It's such so easy macro, you know. It's it's gonna be a bit of a weird swap for sure. Yeah, it like will. it's gonna take some getting used to. Indeed, it will. Like um. Oh, I just I just need to mention just for the sake of uh, clarity of the game that there's a ghost out and he's obviously getting more ghosts. Well, he will be. Oh boy, more. are we yeah. gonna see the new upgrade for him? Hopefully. If not, basic a EMP is still gonna be tragic on those Protoss units. I remember yeah. freaking out when Cure actually used ghosts as if they were High Templar and disabled the <laughs> High Templar, stormed. Oh, the Terran equivalent of storming the Protoss. It was oh, yeah. scary. God. More pylons going down in a weird expansion straight to the left hand side of the map, the really far bottom. Boofy scans for was it probes moving to the right, very clearly knowing that there's a third expansion. Well, it's oh, just going to push that. out. Are they going to meet in the middle of the map? This is going to be tragic for the Terran player. He's Unless just not going to have enough. Yeah, he may not. But who knows, you know, the, the ghosts have their EMPs that's going to cut half the army apart. Right now, they finally meet at the top, and oh. they get... Oh, the medevacs get feedback! So does the ghosts! And right oh. now, they're getting the top of the good for uh, Terran player. The storm goes out and chokes oh, the no. of the road, and all those, all those storms take out everything. The siege tanks are completely destroyed, and the if marines only go down had, immediately. If only God. he had the EMP upgrade! If only, if only. <laughs> God damn it, that was well played by Zer. 
Oh man, he saw the the army move out and decided I'm gonna catch him in the middle of the map. Indeed. Uh, Boofty is in a really bad position right now. He is down a hundred supply. He's down uh, twenty five ish, twenty six workers. This is just not good. Yeah. The Phoenix. He lifts the face as if the Phoenix is in the car. Shoot. Would personally add some liberators. Yeah, I would add some liberators. In fact, I think more widow mines just in the flank. Oh no. Tempests are out, so I don't know about liberators right now. Yeah, that's not ideal. Zer playing the aggressive toss player that he plays. God damn it. God damn it, Zer. Why do you play so good? The Tempest, like you said, are out and they have crazy range. Oh my god, dude, look at the range. Look at it! Okay. That's 15. I know, man. Jesus, it's more, it's more range than the siege attack. It's scary. I Having. Know, or seeing Tempest by themselves is not scary, because you can easily stim underneath them and just take them out immediately. But with a well-mixed Protoss army underneath them, like, you're not going to touch them. Yeah, of course. It's just... It's like, um, it's, it's like adding a bayonet to your rifle, man. God damn it. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> uh, the Zealots are actually zoning in for the third, and the third is going to be the poor victim, that poor that poor kid who gets bullied in the park. And the Zealots rush into the mineral line. The, 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 the SCVs get completely chewed up, and the Marines are trying to uh, respond to the third. Oh, the they're going to get sniped. God oh. damn. EMPs need to be ready. No, he's just, he's just going to snipe the third and pull out. This is a very safe play out of Zer. He's just trying to make sure that he's going to stay ahead in this game. Yeah. Oh, oh. Those ghosts get denied. God, Terran buffs do nothing in, in the <laughs> current matchup against Zer. The, the, the MPs do, 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 do go down. The storms go out. The Marines get chewed up. And then the Phoenixes move randomly in front of the Mar <laughs> Marines. The Marines are starting to start a step away, but they'd actually, that, they actually... Boofy kind of gives up on that. You, we see that once. And the Observer looks out, looks out for the natural. No, for the main. That's 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 Zer's fresh meat. If you figured out how to remove Protoss from the game, <laughs> oh, yeah, poor wow. Boofy. Protoss so much imbalanced that Zer wins <laughs> everything. <laughs> well, I mean, well played by both sides, man. Well played. Yeah. Some liberators, maybe. Liberate is definitely. I feel like Terran needs to be aggressive first. Maybe more orders. It, Terran, when it comes to TVP, Terran's the one that needs to set the pace. Yeah, uh, it does. Otherwise, the Protoss player just walks I over. I mean, Special like does it child. really well. He always has some harassment. Now, here is a drop. Here is a Liberator. He's another Liberator. He's another drop. Just yeah, and then dude, he, he like, slowly he's, he's... builds up the army, and while you just keep distracting the protos then like you move you are maxed out the protos is not he's still dealing with some shitty liberators somewhere yeah the big thing is to try and pull the protoss army apart because then you have a much better chance of being able to take out key units another thing is, is that the protoss army is extremely slow so if you're dropping in the main while he's still kind of at the natural, it's going to take him a minute to respond and then you need to be dropping at another point you got to constantly just be attacking multiple points at once, trying to wait, or wear him down. Yeah, I mean, Boofty did play really well. Um, he had like his two base push was really good, in the sense that it was, it was a threat. It was a real threat. Uh... <laughs> I think if he had, if he had either waited to get medevac support or maybe teched up to Medivax faster, or had that attack hit sooner, it probably would have done a lot more damage, and yeah, not many Protoss units would be out. Mm. Always proxy your racks, children. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> it's like you, you, you bring up your small kid, you, sat him, like, you sit him down on, on your yeah. knee. All you have you to know. do is not to play standard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, proxy is standard now. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess max max packs is kind of standard, though I still haven't really figured out how it. Is. 
I feel so sorry for Boofty. He's like, charge yeah. lots, uh, yeah, charge they're... lots, storms, everything. Unbeatable if you're not stupid Clem. I'm like, oh, calm down. Okay, you play yeah. really well, actually. All, all Zer had to do was just scout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything is so OP when you know you are facing. Yeah, indeed, indeed, man. Okay, uh, then. So, I'm going so... against Lord Crowley. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you are. Um, I'm just gonna have to input the the game though. What happened? And that's the fact that Zer won this game. Wait, I'll be back in just a second. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got an update on thingy. Really? Also, you kicked me from the bike. It's just a park. Yeah. I mean, if he's delaying until combat shows, <laughs> yeah, I feel so sorry. Did I do that? It would make sense, but if he's really going to play that <laughs> safe, macro based style, because like, we were like having problems with the game. I would have expected a fourth team, like really, really fast, but he'd have those three extra barriers. So I just like flushed everyone out. Zer, do you have your mic on or something? And if not, could you like type to us? A handful of lings. Type on the chat, maybe. Make sure to keep scouting on whether or not special has that follow up. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Still. Hold on, uh, somebody's talking to me. Uh, haha, could you interview the players? Is Mike ring Banshee's certainly what? not worth... As the Banshee's, I mean, they're pretty much done, maybe. What, what do you want, Fox? Uh, he said he wants you to interview the players. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if both the will come. Uh, I think you're, you'll just be interviewing, sir. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess the plan was just to 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 kill the Terran, right? <laughs> Good talk. Yeah, Bufti <laughs> just pasted his code, saying Protoss has cheaper scans that last longer. Thus, Protoss is OP and needs nerf. <laughs> Man, he is really angry about this. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't be? It's Terrans. Terrans always bitch about Protoss, even though it's the it's the Zerg winning everything. Protoss imbalance, yeah. So Zerg says my plan was to defeat the attacks that expected, and just gain an incremental advantage over along the game, and yeah, I mean, yeah, you did. A good job. You you found it. You. I don't know if. Poof to actually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it worked. In the first clash, you, you land storms quite well, and in the, the in the second clash, it was two storms, and he didn't do much against them, so it was like. Also, he didn't scan at all for like observers or anything. He didn't have even. Maybe having a raven out would help. I guess I'm not sure what exactly does the. No, what you, what you need to... are um, you need liberators to zone out yeah. the protoss army because they're not gonna unless they're foolish or have superior numbers. They're not gonna engage you under liberators. Um, the ghost EMPs are really good, but you did need that, uh, you really did need that upgrade to hit more of them at once, and hitting them with one EMP isn't going to completely drain their energy, you have to hit them with two. Yep. And that way you completely nullify the storms and they're forced to either make Archons or lose the High Templar. Yep. Yep. Okay, you okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, and Boofty, what did Boofty say? Boofty just generally... Complaints. I mean, it didn't really, yeah, it didn't really help that both the micro yeah. is mm. like a proto. I mean, I think currently, Boofty did okay, actually, right? Ultimately, it, whether you micro or Boofty not, it's not really. Boofty micro is okay. I'm, I'm not yeah. gonna lie, Boofty micro is okay, but his yeah. micro is horrendous. Yeah, I, mean, I would I mean, say I, horrendous because he did do that st step in the beginning, and that looked funky. I mean, he also landed a couple of good EMPs. Yeah, he actually did. It's just 
it was yeah, I think his main problem is that he have no idea how to micro ghosts in conjunction with bio. Just like Yeah, him. it's it's yeah. really tough I'm to not do. Gonna that. Lie. Microing ghost in conjunction with your bio is the hardest thing that the Terran can do. Yeah. For me. Yeah. And and at the it's same time, Terran has received rec- uh, uh, and and Terran has received buffs to for for the EMP like for oh, three years, yeah. so it should be actually easier now. But yeah, yeah. maybe instead of microing uh, three or four ghosts, it would be better to have the liberators to help you zone shit out, or maybe just distract the Protoss player with liberators or one drop in the main or some like bullshit around. So that they can what con- Boofy lack is tech. What what Boofy lack is uh, like uh, teching up to either tanks, mines, and liberators. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he only have bio. He only have bio. So the the Protoss can just walk up, and the bio will have to either draw back or stand the ground. And when yeah. they stand the ground, they can storm. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you want to try and keep like a forward scouting marine so you can see. Whenever the um wherever the Protoss army is, well, so that way you do I, have a I chance to like more, siege up. Yeah, I would say that's more of a uh, advanced level of uh of play decision making. I mean, yeah. And for platinum players, uh, like for for metal league player, I don't expect them to do that. What I even... expect them to do is have units. So if they yeah. didn't have that much units, make units, make make the bigger brick. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Like, Boofty could have just done that, you know, used that sort of bigger yeah. stick policy. I'm not sure. Has yeah. or did he had some uh, marauders in the army even, or was it just pure marines? Because I'm not sure if he if he even had some tanks, because that would certainly help. I mean, maybe a couple here and there, but I don't know. I just got churned out. Uh, yeah. There's uh, mostly Marines, right couple of Marauders, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Um, if I mute my mic, we shouldn't oh. stress too much about it. Yeah. Oh, Fluffy Waffle's here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Fluffy Waffle, how have you been, man? Right. And I get greeted Can by we move on? Thank you so much, Fluffy Waffle. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Shall we move on to, right. on to the next yeah. game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, um, do you don't mind? Uh, do you mind if I co uh, co cast the next one? Yeah, of course. You're you completely wo- welcome to. Yeah, but. All right. Yeah, but so, I'm streaming, do... so. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so the stream will be me playing and me probably losing. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Calm down, haha. Can, dude. can I? He's just a diamond one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want a map? You want to veto something, or you want to prefer something? I still don't remember the maps this season. <laughs> this is me. Uh, can I watch with with you guys? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, you want to observe, or you want to watch from the stream? Uh, as observer, please. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's invite Marcus. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Of so... course, haha. What you gonna? What we're gonna do is that we're gonna have um, you v Lord cranial but i'm gonna be on your party and i'm gonna cast with you your mic must be muted and your stream must be muted and you must be muted everything muted shut or open uh, the volume mixer. But basically deafen yourself yeah we just have everything muted i just that was my plan uh invite yeah everyone wants to join here and Um, I try to keep everything ha- nice and happy. It's a shame that Boofy got a bit upset, but it's okay. In the end of the day, StarCraft is a game, and we're here to simply have fun. Whether we win or lose, it doesn't matter. StarCraft anyway. is a very competitive game, so people get mad. Yeah, so, but... yeah. yeah that's true. Like, that's true. okay. So... Yeah. <laughs> um, what we need, though, is uh, how about we... Me and HaHa... Well, no, wait. Everyone go to the StarCraft... Um, voice channel aha uh-huh, you stay here but we need to decide your... a map first oh yeah cool uh lord cranial what map do you want uh let's see what maps have we done so far acropolis disco bloodbath 
Uh, let's do Abyssal Reef. I know you like that. Yeah, Abyssal Reef. Uh, I know. I want to see the map. We're going outside the current map pool. <laughs> and anyway, haha, what do you what map do you want? I'm trying to find the map pool first. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um oh there it is. So there is Acropolis, Disco, Ephemeron, Thunderbird, Triton, Vintage Gate. What else do you What plays what race do you play? Terran. I play Protoss, okay. Uh, but hold on, um, Lord Cranial is a diamond player after all, and it's mainly for the benchmark of the diamond players where I encourage them to off race sometimes. Whether you're plat, whether you're gold, it doesn't like diamonds are oh, huge. You... Like benchmark. oh, do you want me to do you want me to off yeah, race? I I I'm plat free and I haven't played again for a fucking week. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. I can um I can play Zerg then. Yeah, yeah like you... <laughs> okay. Yeah, like uh. Starcraft, I find, is like a wife where if you don't talk to her for a week, pff, yeah, you don't ever <laughs> want to talk to her for no week. So, like, if you do that, oh. I'm not sure how mm -hmm. about you, but I don't want to play tri Triton. You want to play Triton? No, okay, I don't do want a... to because it's too white. Okay, um, uh, so I'm assuming we're Winter's gonna have Gate? To go for a... Can we play Winter's Gate? Okay, yeah, right. Um, Winter's Gate or Abyssal Reef. We're gonna go heads or tails. Somebody call heads or tails right now. Lord, Lord Crane, what map do you want to play? He wants to play Abyssal Reef. Uh, oh, pick heads. And it's tails. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Winter's Gate. Who's this? Some, some random person has just invited me to a match. No, decline. Uh, that keeps happening. Okay, Winter's Gate. Uh, I, I have never played on Winter's Gate. They are um, still playing first game. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Everyone who wants to observe, join. And Captain Awu and me are gonna cast this beautiful game of StarCraft 2 for... on Winter's Gate. Yeah, for. Uh, no, game hard. Uh, oh, yeah, good point. Uh, everyone leave. Everyone. <laughs> 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 okay, there you go. This is the third game. It's it's so weird, Captain Wu. I'm the one setting up this tournament, and I keep forgetting the WCS game up. <laughs> it's really yeah. annoying. I mean, okay. casting with that uh, without WCS is fine. It's just WCS will make it easier for casters. It definitely, man. It definitely does. Yeah. Not just that; it's more fun. I mean, you feel like a legit caster. You get paid for this, even though I'm not. It's oh God, easier right. because you can see how many, like, workers has died and. The upgrade and, and shit. There are more. Uh, they give more information than just a regular replay. Yeah, they do. It's kind of cool. I think the 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 thing with the regular also, replay is that you should you shouldn't in WCS game art be like you can see resources advantage like you have to graph over time and then either like red or blue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Anyway, who has not joined? Zer, Zer, are you there? Are you observing, or are you going to leave the party? He's in there. Uh, he, he's typing. Give him a sec. I need... I landed one storm up and pulled back. Dude, okay, is there? Uh, I'm going to have to at him. Uh, Zero is in the lobby, so you just have to uh, switch up the. Um... Yeah, we just. I don't want to kick him just needlessly. No. Oh no, I think he's gonna watch. Uh, you just uh, switch players, yeah. put him in observer. Oh, is the lobby set up now? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, lobby set up. Okay, Lord Cronial, you're on team two because that's ten. That's eight numbers away from team ten, and I think that's a nice number. No, um, I don't. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll put you. I'll put you in team one because that's one digit away from. That's nine digits away from <laughs> team ten. <laughs> no, but all you gotta do is all you gotta do is throw a zero in front of it. And now we're. I know, we're back right? To where we started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have Haha playing as your Terran. Ah, are you sure you want to play Terran? Okay, cool, 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 and. We're gonna, we're gonna have Captain Awu cast. Everyone who is not casting and not um, playing, if you could just leave, that'd be 
be great. Yeah. Wait. And, and yeah, of course, including. No, the... no, like. The, just. We are. Pl yeah. You, you can get ha get them because you are casting for yourself. I am playing. No, yeah, I know. Haha. -ha. Um, you're a special uh, special case. Mute yeah. yourself. Mute. Go and actually go on your volume mixer, and then mute everything and mute your mic. Is everything what? muted? Type something in the chat. Why? Why? Or... As in, I'm. Just, well, he just needs to everything? deafen himself on. Uh, he just needs to deafen himself on Discord. Yeah. Okay. How do you mute? Uh, yeah, but if I mute myself on Discord, it won't show up in the stream. Okay. Yeah. Good point. Uh, don't mute yourself. Just close every volume you've got. Volume yeah, but mixer. if I. Maybe except for StarCraft. Yeah, yeah but if I lower volume of everything, it like stream takes okay. what I hear, yeah. so I would oh, have yeah, to play point. without anything at all. Good point. All right. Um, Let me think. This is the problem with this is the problem when the streamer decided to join the tournament. Yeah, I know, right? Um, maybe we should have think. second stream. No. Just uh, uh, maybe we just have the cast to ourselves. Yeah, okay. just yeah, cast right. for yourself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. just uh, cast for the people. Wait a minute, in the you call. don't have to. You can just pull out his headphones or speakers or whatever he uses. Oh, yeah, good point. Just pull out your headphones or put in headphones so yeah. they're not wear them. All right, all right. All right, just uh, take okay, off your headphones. Yeah, we'll trust. I'll take them off. Then. Yeah. We'll have faith that he uh, he's true and uh he will play a fair game it, okay cool i'm i'm going to say this it won't help me anyway so. <laughs> <laughs> i know i do um, yeah, i'm taking you off so start again. okay cool all right let's go all right is everyone right oh, wait all right so it's gonna be a zvp yeah i love zvps mm. because that's the ones where zerg players actually enjoy the matchup as if it's fresh meat, but then so does the Protoss players. So it's like you both have the same, like you know, fulfillment out of the matchup. But like you, <laughs> like it's like I know it's like a hunter fighting a hunter. It's it it's it's funny. It's like <laughs> look at those kids play mm. around in the kiddie pool. Anyway, lo game's loading up. Winter's Gate. My God, it's such an annoying map. I hate slow zones. What about you, Captain? Uman? Uh, at the Terran, I I'm kind of biased. I told with this map because uh, the slow <laughs> zone helps with tanks a lot. Yeah, d definitely, man. Tanks are just there's something about a siege tank that's just so fun to play. I think it's because you siege them, and then they and then they go boom boom, and then and then and then you win. <laughs> that's my god uh, knowledge. Let's, uh, let's introduce a player from the bottom right. It is Cranial Blast, also known as. Blast on this group. Uh, he's think. also called my lord, the lord, Lord Cranial. And he is lord. I like that. <laughs> uh, me too. It's like he's a uh, ro royalty or something. Anyway, and spawning at the top left is our favorite now, not now, our favorite sound effect and the thing that we love to do every day. Ha ha! Aha is doomed anyway because Zerg is. <laughs> the, um, Zerg is a There is the factory block going on. Uh, the probe yeah. just moved a little bit away from the center. Indeed, he did. Right now, Aha is getting vision of the first, uh, well, the main, and he sees this pool finally up. Is this a 12 pool? I don't think it is. We were talking over the beginning. I don't know. <laughs> Good job, Fox. <laughs> And uh, right now, I'm I'm one of those guys who who plays random, who says who plays random, but is just a silver player in random, <laughs> mainly because he played random twice and then didn't play out at all. Like, he, he played he played as like a, you have not I played my match. Uh, I uh, what would you call those games where you like you play you five games and you go to continue? Put your harvesters I to played work. one right, and that got me into a league, got me into silver, and that's because I got DT rushed and hidden based simultaneously. So I, I thought this guy was a complete oh. noob. 
right? Like, dude, the guy's not even building a cybernetics core. This guy's had the utter shit. And then I see the cybernetics core, like, come up at, like, four minutes. I'm like, what the? Oh, my God. I'm going to win this game in less than two minutes. I charge over there, and I realize there's DDs in my base, and I... Ah, feels bad. As we say that, our, our host, uh, our streamer, haha, <laughs> forgot the second pylon. <laughs> when, when stuff like that happens to me, I just, I, I, I want to be Protoss, and I just want to recall, recall back my troops. But at that, that game, that ladder game, it was me playing Terran. <laughs> and it's just like, I really wish I could recall. But at most, I have Metamax speed, and it's just not going to get my troops across. It was really oh, a yeah. Anyway. Uh, Cranium made six ling, and they're currently on the way. I think that Adept would come out in time to form the wall. Yeah, it's actually yeah. already a probe inside of the wall. Glory. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Right now, Lord Cranial is going in for the aggression. The aggression is not going to be completely blocked by the Adept. But Lord Cranial is smart. The smart man he is tries to attack something that, that the adept can't see. Well, not see, he's outranged by. I was about to say the supply block just hit like was it? Haha, like a brick. But it didn't. He's not supply block. And I don't think he is. Got a lot of boost coming from the Zerglings and three overlords on the way. The an extra hatchery. God. Yeah, it seems like every uh, everything seems like a uh, a regular game. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> All right. Now Will we we'll... get to the macro uh, the, the macro phase of the game? Indeed, indeed, Arena. Hey, uh, does a shield battery coming? Yeah, go on. Uh, there's a shield battery coming up, so this is going to be a very safe opening. Indeed, it is. The Zerglings won't be able to get any aggression done. Two adepts and one stalker is actually enough to take out these Zerglings if they simply just attack. Obviously. Playing it safe, haha, my man, my champion. I'm pumping my fist as I do that. I mean, my chest with my fist as I do that. Not my fist, actually. Put I think I'm using my thumb and I'm hitting my chest like a gorilla. <laughs> Could you just imagine, like, pumping up a show and you're actually punching yourself in the chest? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> back into the game. <laughs> the third expo is up for Lord Cranial, and I actually felt myself hurt. Uh, and Haha -ha hasn't expanded to a third. This isn't necessarily the best macro I've seen from Haha. -ha. Right now, Lord Cranial is trying to keep the game active. And um, seeing that you, you, you play Terran, right? Yeah. How do you find these, you know those annoying little things? Those annoying little things that Terrans can't get around, right? Um, from the other races. By, by the other races. Like, like, uh, can you explain to You have not enough minerals. Can you explain further, like, uh, what the, what, what can't I get around? Um, say storms, boofty storms. Yes, the last, our last game. Oh yeah. Before. For, uh, how how to do with storm is uh, you basically have to, uh, pre-split your army. Yeah. And you make sure that the army doesn't stay inside a storm for too long. Yeah. Yeah. You have to send them out of the way immediately or push forward. Yeah, yeah, I, t I totally agree. I mean, like, the thing with me, right, when I play Terran, I play Terran as if I'm playing, like, a complete pro. I feel like TY every single time I play, I play Terran. Is that just me? Or is, like, every Terran player feels that, you know? Uh, I say it, it, that. It's uh, very much like a feel-good kind of... Uh, a kind of response, because you do do... Yeah, can't speak. You do all these fancy micro, like splitting your army against Baneling, uh, sieging up unit at the same time, but yeah. then w w when you look back, you're banking up 400 mineral, you, you should have gotten the third out way faster. <laughs> you're lacking in production. It's those kind of things that... <laughs> yeah, like it's definitely those play. kind of things. Yeah. Like, um, the thing is, when I play turn, because they're the most basic race, it's the most fun race. Did I just hear Haha go, oh shit? <laughs> I think he. Uh... Alright, let, let's talk a bit about the game because uh, at the current moment it is six minutes in. Haha just about to put down his third expansion. Hopefully, hopefully. Any minute now? Uh, well, I mean, he's, gonna, he's gonna actually buy more shit. Uh, he's got the. Sentries. There we go. Yeah, he's got more, more sentries. He's got the third up and he's gonna buy an extra pile up alongside that. 
Hopefully, that'll be for a shield battery. There anyway. are 24 banelings on uh, on the other side of the map. From Holy Lord shit. My I, feel, <laughs> I feel like this is a little bit overkill. Overkill? Overkill is good kill, okay? That's like, <laughs> I, I oh my god, 24 banelings. I feel but like he, he, he's the problem with 24 banelings is that banelings will always get one kill no matter what. <laughs> More like they uh, kill quote themselves. From hey, uh... Quote from Winston. Uh, there are four mutas on the way. Oh, dude, mutas. Mutas. mutas are the most coolest unit in the game, but they're so useless at times, especially yeah, in But the th there is also two cannons in the middle <laughs> line. So I don't think the mutas not a good move, but he can go to the. Yeah. The, the, the natural. Yeah, you can do exactly the third here. Get a cool pro okay. And besides sentries, there are no units that. Oh, never mind. As I said, that three R can pop out. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> I've learned the tough way. Never put in, put your muters in a like a meat grinder of archons. Right now, oh my god, the debris is gonna be a tank, and this would be a perfect time. But Lord Cranium would just march those banes in. Unfortunately, those banes don't have to be the meters coming in. More links are reinforced, and I really want a showdown right now. Especially in the oh, archons are out. This but amount of... He's marching in a lot more banelings. Uh, 14 he actually three. sees those banelings come in, and then they're not coming in. Oh, he's gonna move in. The banelings go in, they hit the archons, and all the archons actually defect the banelings. The banelings are waddling backwards as if they're fat shit. They can't actually get their lunch, and... The Archons push back Lord Cranial's attack. Oh, because we stepped though, out a bunch yes. of mutas on the way. The mutas completely wreck! Yes. Completely wreck, I'm telling you. Haha's economy. Two stalkers is not enough. Oh my god, Captain Owen, what would you do? You have not enough minerals. At, at this point, I would say just pull your unit away, accept your losses, uh, maybe protect the third, and keep on going, because this is a terrifying army with four immortals. It is. But he has queens for defense, the queens are coming oh, in. Oh no, no not, the, not the move command! <laughs> you gotta attack, you gotta attack, you can't move command into that. Oh my god, uh, those poor zerglings in the main being blocked by the force field, the main, but the main fight's going well for Lord Cranial and completely crushed that immortal rush. I call it a mortal rush, but the muters are doing more work in... Your pylon is the muters are doing more work than the the, the, the base! Yeah, so what is this? Single Archon remains, a couple of Zealots coming in to attack the Fleens, the, the Zealots being slowed down, the, the Zerglings finally come into attack, and then the Zealots finally react. The Queen's going I down. Like the, I feel like the attack, attack would have been a lot better if he didn't just move command his entire army into the... Oh, into the oh, oh, totally, man, totally. That was crazy. That was just... Uh, and the GG comes up from him. And the GG oh. came out, yeah. I think he, he feel like he took a little bit too much damage. I think he gotta stay in the game a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely could. Oh my god, guys, that was a great game. Especially seeing Lord Cranial had that muter attack. I was like, whoa! I like, I don't the muter backstab was really nice. Yeah, it was really yeah. nice, man. It was like, I don't know how to compliment you. I can only compliment you as well as someone compliments someone's handwriting, you know? Like, good micro. <laughs> I don't Thank know. you. <laughs> well played, honestly. Well played. I loved it. I loved it. I loved casting it. Um, first of all, obviously the two questions. So, what was your strategy going in? Uh, haha. Seeing that we kind of know what Lord like, Cranials are. What you, what you play, just... Make some sentries, immortals... And then... Like, go over. I mean, I, I scouted the mutas, but I didn't make... The same stuff as, like, I did in the main base and in the other bases, so I got screwed. Yeah. I feel like Lord Cranial just played that Chad macro player who gets the third CC as quickly as possible. I mean, sorry. I am. I am actually. How did you know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Actually, it's just you, you look at someone's playstyle, and then you could tell in with their main whether they're playing off race or not. You know, that you know who CCs first and doesn't do anything else, only loses <laughs> to cheese and only loses to all ins and two base pushes. But then goes only all out with macro games, you know. Two hundred supply, only supply that he fights with, you know. <laughs> like, well played, man. I love that. I love that. And the banes, oh my god. Don't <laughs> don't forget the ADS CVs. Yeah, I know, dude. But, I yeah, I, I know that it, it, like I rally the, the probes in wrong way. So, yeah, uh -huh. dude. Yeah. 
And the fact that that happened without the cast was even realizing. But Captain Wu catch caught that caught that without me. Well played by Captain Wu. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> It's yeah. Like a horrible uh, anyway, uh, next match. In, in that situation, uh, in that situation where you have to decide whether or not you want to push on or move back, uh, yeah. I think having a warp prism there would have made the push a lot more dangerous. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, oh my god, a warp prism sounds even more scary, especially yeah, seeing that I, I, I currently main Zerg. Anyway, yeah, Zerg, I mean, Zerg, warping eight of the 